Hello, praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening from. We thank God so much for His goodness, His mercy, and His faithfulness towards us. Once again, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. So thankful to God for this great opportunity so that we can get to hear His word and uh, uh, just uh, start of the day or end the day in His presence in prayer and by listening to directions coming from his word. So friends, uh, today we're going to read from the book of Psalms 119 from verse 30. And it's a scripture uh, that, uh, that that I do love uh, because it does remind us, uh, it reminds us the source, reminds us about the source of our joy, the source of our uh, inspiration, the source of our direction. And that when we know the source, we are going to be full. We won't be uh, uh, easily uprooted. We won't be easily moved. We won't easily be disappointed by life and by the things that life comes with. So Psalm 119, verse 130. It's a very long chapter, but uh, we're in the, uh, 130 verse. It says, the entrance of your words giveth light. The entrance of your words giveth light. It gives understanding unto the simple. The entrance of your word. And it says in verse 131, I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for your commandments. 132, it says, Look thou upon me and be merciful to me, as you used to do, as you, as you do to those who love your name. And 133 says, order my steps in your word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Amen. So this is a very uh, important uh, verse uh, because uh, as we, you know, as we take on the day, as we take on life, you know, there were so many people out there, so many gurus, uh, self-care gurus, uh, uh, you know, uh, people who, who will tell you, uh, where to get uh, the source of your strength, the source of your happiness, the source, you know, of your, you know, of, of the drive to get you to the next level. Other uh, people tell you, you got to look in yourself, look down in yourself, you know, uh, look, you know, look up in the sky, you know, you have to lay on this mat, do this and that. And uh, these things are not really bad. But the thing is that these things do not offer a long lasting direction, long lasting satisfaction, long lasting strength, you know, uh, but the word of God does, the word of God does. That's why David says here, the unfolding or the entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding. You know, if you're trying to figure out uh, your life, you know, because we all have a different journey in life. We all have different pursuits, different experiences, different backgrounds, different challenges. But uh, in order for you to overcome and also be able to, uh, you know, go through your challenges or whatever a process that you are in, uh, in life is that you need to have the word of God coming into you. That's why I like the translation that says the entrance of your words gives light because we're just surrounded by a lot of darkness. We are surrounded by a lot of uh, uncertainty. We are surrounded by a lot of fog and, uh, you know, a lot of voices. Everybody's saying something. Even in the church, we have, you know, so many pastors saying this and that and that. Uh, you know, most of it might, might be true, and uh, but it may not be what is really going to work for you. So you need to be able to go to God for yourself. And that when you go to him, he is going to speak his word to you. You say, how, how is that going to happen? Uh, well, I know that God speaks. You know, he will speak to your spirit because you are spirit living in a body. He will speak to you when you take time to listen. But even through his word, just like right now, he is speaking unto you. So are you looking for understanding? Are you looking for direction? Come on. Today, your help is here. Your help is here. Your help is in the name of the Lord. Your help, my help, our help is in the word of God. So we need to open it. We need to listen to it. We need to speak it 
and we need to put it into action because when we do, we are going to win. We are indeed going to be more than conquerors. Amen. And so uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, again, the scripture was Psalm 119. We read from verse 130 to verse 132. I take your time and I read it for yourself. And I know the Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to bring light. God is going to bring clarity. God is going to bring a peace in the midst of chaos, in the midst of darkness. God is going to bring light through his word to you. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us that we can come again to seek your face. We can come again to pray. We can come again to seek direction for our day. Lord, I pray for each and every one who is listening right now and they're going through a time in their life where they feel lost. They feel they are being crushed by, you know, uh, the loads of life, the loads uh, of bills, the loads of responsibility. Father, you alone can give strength. You alone can give relief. You alone, God, can bring peace, can bring understanding, God. You, you alone can bring a resolution, oh God, to marriages, relationships, oh God, that are falling apart. Father, you alone can bring about forgiveness. So, Lord, we ask you right now to bring light. Because we have spoken your word. We have opened your word. So, Lord, we ask for light. We ask for peace. We ask for inspiration, direction, so that we will take the right steps in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now for protection over each and every one of us as we go out to our places of work, as we go out to school, as we take on responsibilities. Father, as we just uh, go about, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the careers, go about, Everything that you have put in our hands, Lord, help us to be good stewards. Help us to uh, take good responsibility. Help us, oh God, to shine your light to people who are in darkness, who are, you know, just trying to find their way out, Lord. The way you have helped us, help us to help somebody else that we want to keep this good news, this message to ourselves that we'll be able to share. And as we share, God, let your Holy Spirit be behind every word, every message, every encouragement that we will be able to give life. And Lord, as your word says that rivers of living water, God, will flow out of us into our world that is hurting, into our friends who are hurting, into our relatives, our, our co-workers, our partners who are hurting, oh God. So Lord, we thank you, Lord, for when we pray, we believe that we receive everything we ask for in your name. And Lord, right now, we just want to say thank you for your blessing for today. Thank you for your angels protecting us. Thank you for providing food, oh God. Thank you for healing our bodies. Thank you, Lord, for giving direction. Thank you for the opportunities, God. We declare that today will be a great day. We declare that doors are going to open before us. We declare that we are going to uh, uh, be opened up to new revelation, new understanding. We declare that our lives will not remain the same in a positive way. So we thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Bless each and every one of us. Bless our families. Bless the works of your hands according to your word in Deuteronomy. For you say that we will be the heads and not the tails. We will be the first and not the last. We will be at the top and not at the bottom. We will be a blessing in the city. We will be a blessing in the country. A blessing when we come in. A blessing when we go out. So Lord, we claim and declare all these things over our lives and we receive them by faith in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine over you. May the Lord give you peace. We'll meet again tomorrow. And uh, go ahead and share this uh, this prayer and devotion. I've been hearing so many good things, uh, feedback. So let's come on. Let's keep uh, sharing and a blessing and encouraging somebody else the way God has blessed us. Love you to life. See you tomorrow. This is Pastor Andrew from the Greater River Church.